Hi there guys and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to put um, YouTube videos and add a spry collapsible panel into your website using Dreamweaver. Now if I just preview this in Firefox as you can see we have our YouTube video here and um, yeah it has a really gay border around it but you know I just put that there just to um, show that there is a border around it you can add whatever you want and as you can see on the bottom here if you click that we have this nice little collapsible panel uh, it's pretty um, simple to do and you can add whatever in there I've just literally wrote that because it's pretty gay I don't know what else to put but anyway you can add whatever you want so it's pretty simple to put these two things in I think it looks really smart you know it's pretty nice to have on there there's like the um, little collapsible panel you do get in uh, with your YouTube videos so it is pretty nice it does look good on your website okay so to get started I'm just going to delete this um, file here don't need that okay um, I'm just going to create a new file for now. I'm just going to make it a HTML file. It can be whatever it wants. So let's do. Um, well, let's just put video again. Video.html. Yours can be whatever it wants. Obviously, it's going to be in sideways, however you want the video to go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, add a div just to um, um, get this thing nicely wrapped around. So I'm just going to go to insert. Um, no, sorry. I'm gonna make sure my insert tab is open. So window insert. Make sure that's open. I'm just gonna insert a div tag. I'm just gonna add two div, two div tags. This one's gonna be my uh, no. This one's my body tag. Sorry, my body tag. It's gonna be a new CSS rule. Uh, it's okay. It applies to that. Don't need to mess around with any of them. That's fine. Okay. Uh, inside here, I'm going to insert another div tag. Okay, so insert the tag again. Now this one's going to be our video wrapper. So it's going to wrap around the um, video. It's going to choose new CSS rule. Uh, it's an ID only applies to this one HTML element. That's fine. Okay, we don't need to mess around with go into any detail with them. If you know about divs, you'd already um, know what to do with them. But I'm going to do a tutorial on divs anyway. But what we're going to do is I'm going to set the width to uh, 640 because I think the width of the when you put the YouTube video in that's its normal size. You can actually um, change that if you want. I'm just going to put the height to auto. Um, the margin I'm going to uncheck same for all. Make the right auto, the left auto, and that is going to apply it to make it center. Okay, there we are. We have a nice centered out here. So. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get highlight all this text here and I'm going to go into code view and as you can see where that is highlighted there that's exactly where we are there so if you're not used to code view where this is highlighted there is obviously where in designer view that's where you'd see where you've highlighted there okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go to YouTube and I just have this my latest video it's just going to be the uh, CS5 why won't that disappear um, it's just going to be this is just the uh, navigation bar well what I want to do is I'm just going to come down here and as you can see I have these options here, these are going to be on any video or they're going to be on your video I'm going to go to embed All right, it's going to bring up this nice little embed thing here I'm just going to um, control C or right click and copy that and I'm going to go into Dreamweaver and make sure you're in code view, if you paste it here nothing's going to happen, it's just going to come up with a load of code and nothing's, you're not going to have nothing so if you go into code view and where you have this highlighted here I'm just going to hit control V as you can see it's now put this in here okay so we go to design view there we are that's our YouTube video so if I just go into um, preview in Firefox see the changes as you can see there we are there's our YouTube video now um, if you want to make this smaller if you click on it as you can see down here your width is 640 and your height is 390 now you can change that to whatever you want I'm just gonna leave it as this um, you can maybe make it smaller, make it bigger. You can just actually click and drag down and it'll automatically decrease the size. So that's another way if you really want to do it like that. But I'm just going to keep it as the usual. Now I want to hard add the border around this just so it stands out, just gives it a bit of effect. So I'm just going to go back to my CSS styles panel. Done of that, same again, Windows CSS styles. And as you can see we have our body tag and our video wrapper. That are the divs that we just put in. So I'm going to double click on the video wrapper and I'm going to add a border on the top of a solid let's make it 10 pixels and I'm going to go for a color of like a blue so I'm just going to go for a nice light blue just so it stands out okay so there we are I'll preview that now yeah want to save the changes come on pop up 
there I've just had this board around it. Looks pretty naff, but if you do it in black or another colour, it does look pretty smart sometimes. But I was putting it in blue just for the purpose that you can see it. Okay, so once we've got this now here, I'm just going to go back into Code View. And underneath where this div tag is here, so if you read Code View, as you can see, we have this body tag open here, and we have the close of this body tag. And in between this div, we have the div of the ID of body. And then that's where we have all that code that we pasted in for the um, v you know the video. So I'm going to go down to the end of this div. I'm going to hit enter, return, making sure I'm getting pressed against the wall. Okay, I'm going to um, oops um, open the little uh, I don't even know what you say, call these the little um, greater than or less than. Um, uh, I don't even know what they are but that <laughs> whatever that is and I'm going to choose P and I'm going to close it so now you've got like the open the P and the close one of them that's going to put in a new paragraph so I'm going to um, go back in design view as you can see it's put us down one okay and now I'm going to go insert and I'm going to insert a table and this table is going to hold that um, collapsible panel. I'm going to put the table width for 640 just to match the size of this. Okay. And I'm going to come down here and choose a line center. So that has centered it underneath the um, video. Now, I'm just going to say it's just a little bit off because we added a 10 millimeter board, um, millimeter, sorry, 10 pixel border. So I'm just going to just scale it up a little bit. Just clicking on it and just scaling it up like so. I'm going to click inside of here and um, I'm going to go to my insert tab that we've already had open and I'm going to click on the common and I'm going to go down to spry. Now if we go down we can see the spry collapsible panel. I'm going to click that. And as you can see it's inserted this spry collapsible panel. Now if we click on the side of the spry collapsible panel it'll highlight the whole thing. It'll give like a blue look to it. This will come up. It will say enable animation or default state open and default um, display open and just make sure both of them are closed okay so that means the spry crap collapsible panel will be closed because if it's not closed it'll just be open and you won't get that effect so um, when you when someone clicks it, it'll open normally if you didn't do that then it'll just be open all the time so it'll look like good but as you can see our text has disappeared if we highlight over that there is this little eye down here we can click that to show the content in here and you can put whatever you want you can put a load of gibberish like I like this tutorial whatever you really want to put um, please subscribe obviously you're going to put more than that um, yeah but I'm just going to hit control C that'll save it and I'm going to hit F12 preview this in Firefox okay and as you can see now we have this thing saying tab down here and as you can see we've got I like this tutorial please subscribe alright that's really sad but as you can see we have our video on that if you want to change the text of where it says tab all you have to do is just literally click there you could just put click for video detail there we are so that's what you could put and then when you preview that now obviously when someone's watching their video in um, on your website they could be watching it and they say oh click for video detail and from click down and then it'll be your or your um, your video um, detail yeah uh, the video description that's it that's what I put I should, should have put description but that's it guys that's the tutorial I hope you enjoyed it it's pretty simple to do looks alright obviously don't put a blue border like this one here because it looks a bit naff but um, yeah I hope you enjoyed it guys and um, definitely please subscribe see ya